So today is the day of the gender reveal. We just uh, got everything ready and we are about to head over there. There's Crystal, say hi Crystal. Hi! Um, we are about to head over there and find out what gender the baby is. Catch you there. So today we are going to our second anatomy scan. The first one, they measured her and made sure she was growing properly and that she was the size she was supposed to be at how old she was. The first time we tried to confirm her gender because I had a blood test done to get the gender earlier and so when we went back for the first anatomy scan and tried to confirm it she wouldn't uncross her legs so we are going back today for my 20 week scan um, they're gonna check her measurements again and they will be able to confirm hopefully that she's a girl <laughs> and that we're not in for a surprise but either way we're super excited to see baby again at least I am what about you very excited very excited also today my mom and my sister are joining us so this is the first sonogram that they will get to see um, like in person they've seen the pictures that they give us um, but they will be coming to the appointment um, and hearing the heartbeat and seeing her move um, she's been moving a ton and I'm the only one that can feel her right now but it's such a cool feeling and I can't wait till she's like big enough for like everybody else to be able to feel her um, because she moves so so much so for those of you that have never been to Florida in like the spring we have little bugs called love bugs and you can't really see it Let me see. oh there you go they're splattered all over the window and all over the front of my car but it literally sounds like rain because there's so many of them just hitting the window at once. Every time I've been talking, it stops. Some of the lug buzz are still alive. <laughs> test but it was by an outside lab so we'll see if it was right. Okay. <laughs> but it told us a girl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So three little dots here. Those are the girl parts. She's just not very photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> not, Shy. Is not. How do you feel? I feel relieved honestly. Not because I didn't want a boy 
but because I'd already planned for a girl mentally and clothing wise. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have to take back all of those uh, clothes that that we have because not only us, we've I've bought what, you bought an a few outfit. things. I bought an outfit. He bought and some then, shirts and some and a skirt, which is so cute. Well, I'm glad we don't have to take everything else back because yeah. that would be a pain in the butt. That, but what? that and I think we've just like already come to the yeah. like. I really wanted a boy, but once we found out I, that we were having a girl from the blood test, I was like starting to get in the groove of like, okay, we're having a girl, it's good, and all the stuff. And it's I got. It's not like you were disappointed. I wasn't it's disappointed. Just, I was just, I really wanted a boy, so I. I was, so that's what you hope for, but like, yeah. you find out you're having a girl, and you're still. Yeah, I was still excited, still so but excited. I was like, okay, now I got to get the mindset of girl. Yeah. So I'm glad so I don't have to change my mindset again, from girl to boy which is what I mean like but like I've mentally prepared to have a girl because like right that's just what I have that's what I've been telling myself that's we had like not that we, we had a boy name picked out but like we're I think we're just so in love with our girl name now yeah that like having to change it would be weird almost yeah so now we are meeting up with my best friend and his wife, my two besties, another uh, another fam, and their baby Carter. And I haven't seen them in quite a few months. Yeah, quite a few months. It's been. I think the last time I saw Carter was when she was what two a month old, two months old. No, she was like three. I want three months say. old. So it's been about five. Five months. Five months. Four or five months since I've seen them. Um, cause he lives in Key West, but they're moving back soon, so we're gonna go meet with them, eat, and then Yeah, we're gonna get some food. That's the video, so I hope you enjoyed our sonogram. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the gender reveal and everything like that. And we will catch you on the next video, which will be Celia's update of how she's feeling and all the stuff that she's learned while she's been pregnant. It'll be like my halfway update. Yeah. Catch you later.